Really is coming down hard on adult entertainment centers and businesses. It's part of an effort to stop human trafficking. A new ordinance is already in place that requires a sign to address the issue. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton joins us now live from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office to show us how the ordinance is supposed to work. Well, good evening, Keith and Jen. This is the new sign that all adult entertainment centers are required to have hanging on their walls now in Pasco County. If law enforcement shows up and these aren't on the walls, business owners will have to pay. Body cam video shows a Pasco County task force conducting a major violation sweep at Desired Gentlemen's Club in Newport Ritchie. Hello, hello. They're cracking down on every adult entertainment center and business in an effort to stop human trafficking. Government issued signs are already required in these businesses. Pasco County has taken it a step further, implementing their own ordinance. In that particular ordinance, it required them to have a plain language sign that was actually uh, drafted with consultation with an actual survivor. It offers a number to call and text for help and must be placed in all women's bathroom stalls. This is a sign required to be posted by the new ordinance. You can see the wording is posted in English, Mandarin Chinese, and Spanish. One of the violations found in violation of the new code is the Brass Flamingo. We spoke to their manager by phone. He supports the efforts by the county to halt human trafficking and has even taken his own initiative to help. We've been going to seminars and having our people training human trafficking through the Department of Homeland Security and ICE for the last three years. But when the task force showed up for inspection, he had no idea about this new sign. It's been in the newspaper, it's been posted on the website, and so they have a responsibility to keep track of that. And because they didn't follow through with that responsibility, we're still going to make sure they're in compliance. The hope from this ordinance? To bring awareness and a sense of hope to someone who may be victimized. Now, this specific task force will be visiting all of these businesses in the county. Again, if this sign is not posted, business owners will have to pay $250. Jen? Well, Avery, how often do these sweeps occur? Well, law enforcement uh, officers will go to these businesses frequently, but the last time that a specific task force was paired with the, bi the building's code inspector and a fire inspector was about 10 years ago. So due for some new sweeps. Avery Cotton, live in Pasco County. Avery, thanks.